so we're back and we're going to play with all of the shop missa stuff that i've recently hauled for you guys a lot of you guys were like yeah we want to see this shit in action so don't i i'm really excited to see what's a hit what's a miss i have to go out right after this to <laughs> <laughs> to go with my husband to get some groceries and drop my son off to his grandmother let's hope this is not a fail and I also want to say I'm so sorry if I'm super annoying in this video I'm going to try to keep it chilled down but I have bipolar I'm severely manic right now so if I'm talking a million miles per hour there is a way to slow down the video or just close out of it until Nikki is sane that won't ever happen all right, so let's get to this. Get my hair out of my freaking face. The first thing I have is a shit ton of primers. So I have three different primers that I talked to you guys about. The No Pore Face Primer. Then I have the Primer Spray, which I've never tried. And then I have the Perfect Filter. So I thought that since these two here basically do the same thing because it says it absorbs oil and minimizes pores as long lasting is something that I've never tried. I think I'm going to go with trying this out. Primer spray. Oh, it's not bad. How does a priming spray make your pores smaller? I just look like a wet hag. I'm gonna have to dry this first. Whew. That soaks ya. Which is probably a good thing because it's a primer so you need it everywhere but don't do your hair first. <laughs> it gives a pretty nice glow too. That's not bad but it didn't do nothing to my pores. You liar. I wonder if I can go in with the perfect filter at this one here and put it on top of it and see what it does. I'm really hoping that it won't pill. This is very thin, almost serum-like feeling. Ooh, it feels so nice on the skin. Almost silicone-y, but it's like a serum with a silicone in it. Dry skin people, you gonna love that stuff. You gonna love it. Okay, so now the foundation, which I am deathly afraid of, because they both, I swatched them on my hands last night, and they both look extremely light, which kind of stinks. Everything is, like, so much lighter. So I tried Buff, which is usually a darker shade. It was way too light. This is more yellow. This is ivory. I'm just going to go for it with the Moki, um blender that I got, which is so soft. I got it wet so soft there's cat hair on it that's gross but let's try this out there's one fluid ounce if you think about it look at this this is how much every single foundation for the most part has one fluid ounce see how small this is look at the rest of your foundations same amount same amount of foundation sons of bitches let's just do it because once i get it like out it like oxidizes almost so i think it might work i think it might work let's go in one dollar foundation let's see what you do to my face please don't kill it has a slightly weird smell it could be the sponge who knows do you guys hear my baby he's protesting that time this definitely oxidizes like Ooh, does it oxidize because you can see it around my hand and then when I just pump it it really does oxidize so I guess that's probably a good thing in the case that it comes out very very light now I'm pretty certain that this says full coverage yeah full coverage foundation Maybe you can build it up to be full coverage, but I'm not going to do that because of the creasing. Like, I am just too old for that, but it doesn't look that bad. I would say it's a medium buildable, but because I can still see my skin through it, but it does have some great coverage to it. Sponge A+, plus, you guys. The foundation, I still need to wear it to see how it wears throughout the day, but on first application... I don't think it looks that bad. Oh, I'm so weirded out. You know, things like this, it tends to piss you off. 
because you spend 50 bucks or more on a foundation and then you try out a dollar foundation that works just as good if not better and it makes you want to blow up the world now with the concealer before I had this one which was in porcelain way too light but I could make it work so this time I got light ivory I don't know if you can tell the difference it's very very slight but this one is a bit darker so I did want to try this out and see if it works a little bit better I'm gonna put it on my hand first oh lord this almost looks like this might be darker than the actual foundation let's just dot it It might be my exact skin tone. I'm, I think I just put way too much on. All right, now what I'm gonna do is use the little Moki Mini, and this is what the size of it as it's wet, and I'm just gonna go in. Oh, I like this little thing. It really gets up in there. Ooh, I like you. Gets right into my fold up in there. I really like this concealer. If you can find your shade, I would highly recommend it to begin with because I've been using it and I find it to be right up to par, if not better, than most concealers I have, high end and drugstore, in my collection. So that's saying something. It's weird though because some of my best concealers that I use on the daily are under ten dollars I love that concealer I love that concealer it looks so healthy it doesn't go into the creases too much I mean of course it's gonna naturally go in if you have one but oh, you guys I think I like that foundation and concealer it don't look bad at all now I don't have a powder for from shop miss a quite yet so I'm just gonna go in with my, this is Luscious, Luscious Cosmetics. I love them. I love them so much. This is my like personalized scorpion one. Oh, it's so cool. I love it so much. And I'm just going to go in. I set my whole face, my whole face with this because it makes your skin look like a porcelain doll. So I'm just going to go. And I set my under eyes with this too. Like everything. Every part. Any part, every part. Because damn, does it look good. And then what I've been liking to do is go in with my CoverGirl Vitalist powder. And this is a pretty full coverage powder. So I'm going to go in with the Cala. This is one of the brushes that I got from Shop Miss A. And I'm just going to swirl it in there. Whoo! And shit, that doesn't have a mirror. Of course. CoverGirl. And I'm just going to make sure that down my neck and the rest of my face is powdered correctly because that foundation does oxidize and I really don't know how bad the oxidization, oxidization, you guys all know what I mean. I don't know how bad it's going to get, so I'm going to try to match my face here. I tend to over powder. Anybody else? Like, don't do that when you're older. Don't do that in general, but I mean, when you're older, really don't do that. <laughs> okay, now on to the crappy part the brows I'm I don't have anything for brows from them either so I'm gonna go into the the Focaler brow pencil that I have by the way um, for anyone that watched me do that get ready with me using the Focaler products that I had I actually made because I found an amazing coupon code I made a purchase from them I don't know how long it will take to get here because of the you know everything going on but I bought everything that I didn't have so I can do a full face of Focaler because a lot of you guys asked me to do that. And I also got an extra palette too because that was personal. I love their stuff. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to do these brows really quick and be right back because they've been a pain in the ass and we don't even need to talk to them. I literally had to draw my eyebrow on over there because the other day I got crazy with the cheese whiz completely accidentally shaved my eyebrow off <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with the Lancome Sore Seal Styler just to like put these babies down I don't mind the Focaler 
um, brow pencil however it is a little bit it runs a little bit on the red side for me so I probably should have got a different shade in it but it works somewhat I'm still mad at that about this eyebrow I cannot believe that I did that just cannot believe that I did that time for this XOXO palette from A2O this is gorgeous Oh my god, it's so pretty, but you never know. The swatches were amazing on my Instagram that I showed you guys. They were amazing. However, you never know how things are going to go on the eyes. This doesn't have a matte, like, color for setting, you know, down on, on my eye and everything like that. So, I'm just going to go back in with the Luscious Powder. What well, sucks is this doesn't have a mirror, but it is $10, so what you're going to do? Now, I do want to use the brushes as well that I got. Got a bunch of different brushes here that I got. So, I want to go in with that Luxury Color Brush, like blending brush. I really don't even know what I want to do. You know what? I think I want to go in with that pretty-ass color. That color is pretty. It's like a mauve, of course. Of course. Ooh, that's pigmented. I was not expecting that. My cat is mad. Do y'all hear my cat? He's so mad. This blends out so nice. And this brush is so nice. I got back on the site and noticed that all the luxury collar brushes were sold out. They'll probably bring them back though. Some of them they don't. Some items they don't bring back in stock. Once they sell out, some they do. I have a feeling that they'll be bringing this one back in stock. Look at that. Holy crap. And I'm just like lightly tapping it. I'm not digging in there. I have trouble, more trouble with some high-end palettes than I'm having with this color right here. I think I'm going to take their little pointy brush here. And this shade here, which is a little bit darker um then this one across the way i just stuck my fingernail in a freaking eyeshadow man i'm just going to see they're a little powdery but i'm just gonna see if i can darken up the edge here oh that works really nicely wow you guys i'm actually really shocked about how well these blend and there's not much fallout either there's like a tiny tiny bit of fallout that's it so I want to go in with my makeup forever brush and just kind of you know cut crease but don't cut crease and I don't even know what I want to go in with to be honest shit maybe I'll go in with the icy color here and see how it performs this is a damp brush so we shall see I'm scared Oh, what? I was not expecting that. What? What? This palette is only $10. <laughs> what is going on? I believe they have different ones too, like different colors of these palettes. I could be mistaken. I'm, I'm shocked. Shit. Now I want to darken up the outer edge. So I think, what the hell am I going to do? I'm, I think I'm going to try to go in with this, this darker here and see if I can darken up the edge and make it mesh a little bit more together. I'm kind of shocked that I did all of that without any concealer. No concealer. Now I'm going to take this little brush that I got from the set, it looks like this, and I'm going to take the colors that I put underneath, underneath, that I put as a transition, and I'm just going to run that underneath my eye. Oh, this is perfect. There's a lot of unique brushes in this set that even I was a little intimidated by. I'm like, okay, I don't know what to do with them, but I think I can slowly find my way into figuring out what I can do with them because you know brushes are just as universal as makeup use them for whatever they work for oh my god I'm like 
I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> I'm gonna use some liquid liner. I don't have anything from Shop Miss A. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Perversion. Just something quick that I grabbed just to line my lid. All right, now I wanna do the lashes and I kind of picked some crazy lashes <laughs> from the ones that I picked out. These are from Terry or they're not from Terry. They're called Terry, they're from AOA. But they are a little bit darker, a little bit more dramatic. And I'm also gonna use the glue. So I'm gonna put these babies on and pray. The AOA lashes, are not that hard they remind me a lot of like the Ardell's but the band is a little just a little bit thicker not by much so if you can do Ardell's you can definitely do these I don't think they look too bad you just can't forget to push your lashes up once you get them in there so people can actually see what they look like when you're looking at them but these are pretty flary and pretty let's get this other bitch on was not hard at all. I think that the biggest trick to putting on lashes that have any kind of width band or, or any kind of pain in the ass is to not put too much glue on but enough and then really let it dry. Like you really gotta let it dry till it's like super super tacky. At least for me that's what helps. I wave these bitches around and blow baby blow <laughs> all right lashes are on so while they actually do their thing i'm going to start warming up this face now i don't have a bronzer from them either i really do need to get back on the site and get some more stuff it's just so hit and miss that i'm scared but i'm gonna go on with this makeup geek this is a sun kissed um fair skin bronzer so i don't think that their stuff looks like this anymore i think she rebranded because i got this on the hell did i get this on oh clearance at target <laughs> i'm gonna use the f24 from the <sighs> shut my <Miss A. laughs> and just go in i like this because it is fair skin which means i can build it up as much as i see fit like at first it just looks non-existent on the skin and it's going to look that way a lot anyway because of the lights but you can't mess this bronzer up so I do like that about the makeup geek. All right now that these have dried I want to go in with the Tarte Surfer Curl. I do have um, mascaras or I did from AOA but it's been more than three months and since they are such a cheaper brand i really don't like to keep stuff longer than it's supposed to when it's around my eyes because it's you know not the best products probably so i'm just gonna go in and add a little bit of mascara so they don't look so unblended try not to stab myself in the damn eye because i've been doing that a lot lately and what I love about this mascara is the wand is so thin that it's great for underneath your bottom lashes too. Wow. Like, I didn't even know I had bottom lashes that look like that. I usually have to use primer. So the more I use this mascara, the more in love I am with it. And it, it's not a mascara that looks very appetizing. If you ask me personally, like surfer curl like it just doesn't look like a very appetizing mascara but get it <laughs> it is it's good the play in us all right for blush these are something that i've had for a while i want more these are the lumi radiant blushes they're so pretty i think i'm going to use this one in wine because it kind of matches my aesthetic i got going on here and I love these because they make your face so shiny and radiant. Look at that. <gasps> so pretty because there's highlighter mixed in with the blush. No, they don't last as long as you probably would want them to. But, you know, reapplying something is not that bad because that's how we actually run out of products. That's how you actually get your money's worth. Oh, it's so pretty. I wish the lights wouldn't just 
wash everything out so you guys could see I mean look at that you don't even need a highlighter with these blushes but more, talking about highlighters I also have my favorite highlighter from them which is their halo highlighter I have mine in blissful why is all of my favorite highlighters called blissful that's something I might need to start thinking about here in my life so I'll use a tinier brush for it and go in very powdery product but kind of crazy worth it kind of nuts like I can't believe how <laughs> oh my god like yeah that happened now I have to do this it's so so vibrant mmm man if you want to look healthy let me tell you let me tell you and then I'm also going to take this and I'm going to take a little tiny brush. Where are you? I'm going to take this little brush here and I'm going to dip into that highlighter. And I'm actually going to put that on my brow bone. Because holy shit. And my inner corner. Now for setting spray, I'm just going to go in with the Morphe setting spray. I don't think I've seen a setting spray on there. I'll have to look. I really like that I don't think it's bad whatsoever I'm just gonna go in and do my norm this kind of tends to tone down the craziness of highlight if I've done it which I've done it I've gone and done it all right and let's move on to lip I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Revlon sassy mauve lipstick because it goes and I haven't used it in forever and it used to be one of my favorites I miss a mauve look. I haven't done a mauve look in a while. Where's the lid to this thing? Oh my goodness, the borrowers took it. I swear I have the borrowers, okay? I set something down, it's gone. It's gone. What the fuck, where did it go? Is it in my vagina? Things always end up there. It's gone for good. I don't know. So this is the look, you guys. Oh my goodness. Most of this is from a dollar website. There was nothing that I didn't like that I tried. Nothing. The foundation, the concealer, the eyelashes, the eyeshadow, the highlight, the blush. Wow. Um, I will leave the link to everything I used down below. Highly suggest checking it out. This is kind of stunning. I'm very, very excited about it all. So there are some huge hits on Shop Miss A. You guys do not need to buy even drugstore makeup if you don't want to and you can't afford it. You don't need to. Girl, I got your back. I will leave it all down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And thanks for hanging out with me during my crazy moments. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.